Y'all, do you see this? Uh, this is my gown. Well, this is my gown. This is my house coat. Uh, I have... Look, I don't know how y'all are doing uh, uh, um, shelter in place. I can't remember it, y'all. There's so many words. Quarantine, shelter in place, uh, social distancing. All these words we ain't never used before or phrases or whatever you call them. Um, this is how I do it. Some days of the week, this is how I look when I wake up. And I go back to bed looking just like this. Some days I get dressed. It's hot, y'all. It's like almost 90 degrees. Anyway, I'm not going to complain about that. But what I sit down here to do, I want, like, y'all, I don't know about y'all. I, we all, all women are guilty of it. First, let me just say, I broke my little camera stand. So I've got a different one up. It's on a hope and a prayer. It's got some baby wipes and a mirror. Y'all, I'm trying to, it's one that just sits in the air. And if I move on the bed, it makes the camera look like it's, you know, trying to make somebody seasick. So I got it all rigged up on a hope and a prayer up here. But um, I was going to sit down here and, and do something. Y'all, I color my hair red. It is probably about Clay's color. I, I couldn't tell you I've never seen my real color. Well, I saw it when I was uh, probably 11 or 12 the last time because my mom was a beautician and so I, I, I've had, I got my first perm when I was two. And um, so yeah, we've, we've messed with my hair my whole entire life. And the last time I remember seeing the color was when I was about 11-ish. I was blonde at that time, but I would guess my real hair color is about the color of clay's. But I color and I put red on it. It has a tendency to go red anyway. That's another thing, y'all. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get dressed and then like I don't want to film like certain videos like the, the vlog thing I don't care to be sitting here looking like this, you know, but like for a video like a video video I don't know, a More and it's not gonna be professional, but for a different kind of video I like to try to be dressed and look nice. But anyway, I Love like I wear pink and purple makeup like eyeshadows and blush and all that all day, every day, every time I put makeup on, it's pink and purple. Because that's just what I keep going back to. But y'all, I am that lady that buys all the orange and brown stuff I can get my hands on. Because, let's face it, I want to wear, look, look at this y'all. Um, oops, I don't, I don't know how long I've had this. Never even used it. Love these colors y'all. How Look, you can see my little raggedy setup right there. It's got a mirror and some baby wipes. Anyway, so what we're about to do is, uh, I thought that had a piece of plastic in it. Maybe I'm losing my mind. So anyway, I sat down and dug out a lot of my orange and brown colors because I want to sit here and play with them today. Um, yeah, look at this blush, y'all. It kind of looks pink, but y'all, it's peachy colored. It's called Beloved. But, um, yeah, I want to play with some orange and brown and tan and all that kind of stuff. But, y'all, I've got, I've got, I, why do I do this? I've got makeup. I know we women all do this. Like, th this may be, this, y'all, is that not beautiful? You can tell I've only touched, like, one or two of them. I touched that one, and I touched that one a little bit, you know, but never used it. I've got crap. Anyway, but, y'all, this is how you know you a hot-natured woman. Look at this. This was in there. I went there in my pink room, which is AKA, you know, look, this is a little fan. You hang it around your neck, and it blows air up on your, oh, that feels so good. Callie, you see Granny's new fan? Y'all, I bought this at Walmart for $5. Look, you hang it around your neck, and something, oh, this thing right here, yeah, you, you can tighten it up. Oops, make it come up to your face like that. Or you can let it go. Let it hang down more. That's when you know you want a hot natured heifer. But, yeah. So, anyway, while I was in there digging around, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make this be five hours long. But, you know me, I'm a talker. My marriage license. Why I had them stuck in there in this makeup thing. 
does that does that kind of say in like my makeup is as, as it is as important as my marriage license I don't know what I was trying to say why I had this in my makeup but um okay I hear you somebody was messaging me y'all I thought I'd tell you the funny story about this marriage license as I sit here and put this makeup on yeah we'll do a little we'll mix a story time this is my regular makeup bag and uh, I'm just gonna dump it out and use parts of it I um oh yeah and I found this one yesterday y'all uh, this is what made, got me in the mood to do it I found this one y'all look at this color right there I, I did it with my finger yesterday I was like oh look at this pretty color and then I was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me some makeup anyway I'm sorry I don't mean to get sidetracked that's just the way my brain works um, I'm the person that as I, like, I get all my I dump my makeup bag out and then as I use whatever you know I'm using I put it back in the bag so that when I'm done everything's picked up and cleaned up so all right we're dumped out and we are ready to get started okay guys we got married and mine and Dan's story is kind of funny we uh, and it's also like um, Where's my bullet? My bag. Oh, there it is. Mine and Dan's story is kind of funny. And it's all, it also kind of lets you know how country we are. Because to me, maybe this is, you know, not. Anyway, we started dating when I was 13 and Dan was 18. I know. Where was my mama's brain at? I looked at Cameron when she was 13 and I was like, there is no way. And Cameron was a very, was always a very mature kid. But I was like, date? Let her date? No! Ma'am, we'll not be dating at 13. Anyway, so I started dating Dan uh, when I was 13. He was 18. So, yeah. Anyway, we dated for a couple of years, and then we broke up, and then we uh, were broke up, I think about four years, three or four years, I think about four years, somewhere around in there, and so we got back together, and then we got married. So, we dated from the time I was 13. Not from the time I was 13. We started dating when I was 13. And I got married when I was 20. So, whatever. Um, anyway. We uh, got married in Arkansas. In our little hometown. When we left the uh, church, you know how they, uh, like, well, first they throw rice on you or bird seeds, what we did. And then, uh, anyway, my little brothers thought it would be hilarious to dump the trash, the literal trash, from the reception the night before into the bed of Dan's truck. We didn't know that. So, we start going down the road. You know, we jump in the truck, and he's put my suitcase. Yeah, I don't know when all that happened. I, 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 it's been so long ago, I don't remember. So, anyway, we're driving down the road. And now, keep in mind, I'm telling somebody this story. That's how this came. This is how I even ever knew about this. So, I'm telling that story to, to a girl about... A year anyway some time after we got married I was telling a girl this story and so my brothers dumped the, the trash in the back of Dan's truck so we're going down the road and we're like what is that smell it was that trash in the back of his truck 
So the next little town was about 15 miles away. So we decide to, then there's, a, we know there's a little car wash. I'm gonna fix my mirror here so I can see to do my eyebrows. Ooh. So um, we decide we're gonna pull in this car wash in the next little town and wash that mess, you know, clean out the back of his truck. My brothers were uh, 15 and 16. One was 15 and one was 16. So to them, that was just hilarious, you know. So we stop, we get the trash. Uh, Dan sets my suitcase out. And uh, he washes the back of his truck out. And off we go. We get to the hotel. And I said, uh, hey, would you get my suitcase out of the back of your truck? And I knew instantly, the way he looked at me, what has happened. He went, uh, when he set my suitcase out to wash the back of his truck, he never put it back in the truck. So my suitcase is sitting like 45-ish miles away from where we are going to stay the night in a hotel. So <laughs> I called Mama. And this, now keep in mind, this is back before any cell phone whatsoever. So this is a, a hot mess. So I call Mama and I tell her what has happened. I said, you know, he left my suitcase. You know, they put the trash in Dan's truck. We stopped to wash it out. And now my suitcase is sitting at the car wash in plain dealing. So she said, okay, we'll go get it. So, or we'll go see if it's still there. I call Mama and then she... See, I don't know how this went now because we didn't have cell phones. Maybe she called me back and said, just wanted you know, we found your suitcase. It was still sitting there. And uh, so I was like, good. Some of Dan's family was still in, in Arkansas. So his, that's what it was, his, his older brother was going to swing by my mama's and pick up my suitcase for when they came back to Tyler. We were going to like stay in a, in a hotel midway from between Arkansas and where we are here in Texas. And uh, so, and then his brother was going to pick up my suitcase and we were just going to go to his brother's house the next day and pick it up. Anyway, that we're leaving the hotel the next morning. Now, mind you, I look like some old hooker Dan picked up, like a $2 hooker, please. I had on the same dress like that I'd left the wedding in. Uh, my hair had been, had hairspray in it, you know. Anyway, I was a hot looking man. I didn't have anything to take my makeup off with. I know when we left out of there, people were going, ooh, he should have picked him up a better hooker because that girl right there is looking a hot mess. So anyway, we get in the truck. We're fixing to head to Tyler. Well, I pull out. I have this. I have this marriage license thing. The preacher had given it to us. So I pull it out just because I'm curious, and and we're I'm you know I'm going like this reading it, and uh, Dan is looking at it with me. He's supposed to be driving, but he's he's looking over here at this marriage license with me, and. Uh, Next thing we know, we go boom, boom. You know, Dan has straddled a concrete car. You know, them things that that you it, you pull in and you don't so that you don't pull up too far. We're high centered on one of them. I'm looking like death warmed over a two dollar hooker, and uh, now we're high centered on a concrete thing in his truck. We had to get somebody to come help us get the truck. Yeah, so I don't even remember now. I, I don't even remember now how we how we worked that out, how we got off of that curb. But we got off the curb. We came to Tyler and we got my suitcase and, you know, the rest is history. But yeah, that's how we started this marriage off. And honey, if that ain't how it's gonna end, I'll kiss your foot. We have definitely had our ups and downs. Uh, some years were more down than up. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is. That's what it has been. Uh, we've been together, y'all, since 1980. Here's editing, Gina. Let me just say, I didn't finish that story. I apologize. That's how my brain works. It's all over the place. I, 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 and, it, and it's still jumping around. I started that story to tell y'all. Anyway, we were looking at our marriage license. So I'm telling this girl that we run up, 
dead center of a concrete thing because we're looking at our marriage license and she said why did y'all have your marriage license and I was like I don't know was I not supposed to have them she said no the preacher was supposed to file those at the courthouse for you and I went really y'all we had never ours had never been filed it looked like we'd never been married so we didn't get our marriage license filed at the courthouse until like a year later so sorry I didn't finish that in the video That was our story about getting married. Do y'all have any funny stories of y'all, of your getting married? I'm just gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stick with this whole one. I put this one over the whole thing. I'm fixing to do this one. And uh, yeah, y'all have any funny stories? Did y'all have any mishaps like that when y'all got married? Y'all, this blush, good golly, Miss Molly. I'm still looking like that $2 hooker. Uh, no offense to hookers anywhere. I ain't trying to hate on you. We've had so many stories, like crazy, crazy stories, like our whole life. If it wasn't for those, the crazy, that stories that make us laugh, you know, I don't know where we would be because, like I said, there's been some really hard years, like really hard years. We've split up, uh, Mainly, you know, I look back now and uh, I feel bad because I've made Dan move out several times. Yes. We're so different. Like our personalities are so different. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to say Dan is always wrong and I'm always right. I'm not saying that. It's just that we're so different, and uh, and it's hard. You know, it's it's hard even on its best day. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You know. Being hard, being married is hard. It's hard work. Some days you don't like that person at all. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, it, um, his depression played a really big part in the hard years, uh, because he was so content to, to, to do nothing, like to just do nothing. And now that I've gone through it myself, I'm like, oh, so this is what it feels like. You know, I feel bad that I got mad at him so much, you know, for, for like, just wanting nothing. Like, he didn't want to go anywhere. He didn't want to do anything. Y'all, I, as you can ima can imagine, I have always been, cr uh, like, I'm one of those people, I love to be busy. I love to be up, doing something, being busy, all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to use this brown one right here. Uh, so, when we got married, um... Uh, it was a huge adjustment for me because Dan is not that person. He don't like to be busy. He likes to literally watch TV. He would, he, if he could lay on the couch and watch TV for the rest of his life, he'd be in heaven. And, uh, I mean, that has been me recently because, like I said, I'm going through menopause, depression, something. I don't know what I'm going through. But um, I've been that person lately. And, and it kind of annoys me because I that's I know that's not how I, I would like have normally liked to be but lately it has been who I am when we first got married this is how different we are we'd been married uh, I don't know a couple weeks maybe a month I don't know and he came in from work and uh, it was the weekend it's like a Friday and uh, I was like Let's go do something. Let's don't, I don't want to sit here all night. You know, again, let's go do something. And uh, he was like, well, what do you want What do you want to do? And I said, I don't know anything. What is there to do? I, I, I'm not from here. I don't know. And uh, he was like, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know of anything to go do. And I, I'm not a drinker. Dan is a drinker. And so that's that has was what his life previously had consisted of him drinking. Dan said, uh, this is Dan when I'm saying, let's go do something. I'm so bored. Please, let's go do something. He was like, what do you want to go do? I said, I don't know. I'm not from here. You tell me what is there to do. Well, his life previously had been going to the club and getting drunk or whatever, you know, something like that. I'm not that person. I don't drink and I don't mind going to a club, but but I, I, I've never drank. And so, this is Dan's what Dan said. 
I was like, I don't know, let's just go somewhere. Keep in mind, he is 25, I'm 20. And uh, Dan said, you wanna go to Kmart? No, I don't wanna, what, what the hell do you mean I want, do I wanna go to Kmart? That was what he was like, that's what, y'all. I should have known then, I was like, oh gee, and I did, I was like, oh Jesus. I'm in for it. Because, see, while we were dating, he lived out here. I lived in Arkansas. On the weekends, he would come to Arkansas, and we would do something there. So then we get married and come out here, and anyway, yeah. The, I, the, like, his idea of a fun uh, time on a Friday night was going and walking around Kmart. Y'all, that's still his idea of some fun, too. Well, we don't have Kmart no more, but you know what I mean. Let me buff some of this out, because looking at myself in the mirror, oh, God. I don't know if that helped or not, y'all. It hasn't changed. Mine and Dan's idea of something fun is still polar opposites. Sometimes, you know, people say, you know, that opposites, that's, you know, uh, that's why they work, because they're opposite. But it's been a real hard thing for us, in my opinion. Um... Uh, being so different, you know, but y'all, this, I don't have anything on this. It's usually what I put on my bronzer with. I'm trying to bronze out one of these 52 chins, which is the only thing it's going to do is put brown on my chins, but I have told my family that this is it. We are, I'm, I'm, well, it's going to be we because I'm, I'm doing it, but, um, I am about to get back on my diet 100%. I can't handle this, uh, all this, all these chins. I can't handle all these chins. I, I just can't. So, I'm going to get my butt back on my diet come Monday morning. Like, I'm that person. I can't do it. I have to give myself a time when I, 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 I'm going to do it. Um, let me buff some of this mess out, too. See, to me, I don't like this at all because... It makes me look like I've been rolling around in the red mud at home. You know, the red dirt, dust, you know. That's what it feels like. I see other girls wear these colors and just be beautiful. And, yeah, I feel like I'm over here looking like... Anyway, yeah. Are y'all different? Do y'all feel like y'all are opposites? Like, if you're married, are you and your husband... Are y'all opposites? Are y'all the same? Some women can get away with this look right here with no bottom uh, eyeliner. I don't like that on me. I mean, I might need to because I'm getting old and I, you know, everything, everything settles in a crack these days. Speaking of y'all, <laughs> where is it? Here it is. I like it here because I was going to mention it and then I forgot. Uh, I had all this makeup in my lap here when I was getting it all put out what I was going to use and uh, I had to get up, I had left my phone laying somewhere so I got up to go hunt my phone. I took like three or four steps and then this fell. Where did it fall from? What crack was it in that I didn't feel that I took three or four steps before it fell out? Y'all. Yeah, I don't know. But um, anyway, let me put this on here and get my mascara on. I've got Dan a big pot of pinto beans cooking. Y'all, I've used this mascara that I got in that FabFitFun box. It is the Mile High Club. I really, really like this. It stays on. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't get those little dried out particles flaking. This is good, and I didn't need a, a makeup remover to get it off. So, there's that. Yep, I really, really, really like this mascara. The, the, I, I love Merle Norman mascara, and I love, uh, it's a cover girl. I have a cover girl. Like, this is what my cover girl has, has looked like for years and years and years. It's, it was called, like, washable waterproof for a long, long time. Then they started calling it something else. I don't remember what it was. Then this is, uh... It says it's waterproof. It don't say washable waterproof. It just says waterproof. You have to have a chisel to get this mess off. I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. 
So if, you, if you're like me and you don't like to use a makeup remover, but you also don't like that mess to smudge, this is a good one. So what do we think, guys? Let me get my hair down so I can get a better idea of what I think. Hold on. Okay, guys, what do we think? I don't know what you can see back here. I don't even care. It is, that's Callie. I don't know what she's barking at. Y'all, it's quarantine around here. So it's crazy. I've got a table pop, I took apart and standing right here. I've got a desk right there. Dan, it was in my pink room and I've been asking him, Callie! Y'all, girlfriend, you better come here. Bring your little furry booty in here. Come on. That's all her toys drug out in there in the floor. Are you talking back? You better get your booty in. Hey, Callie. Callie. I don't know what she thinks she's hearing. Anyway, it's quarantine. It's crazy. I've been telling Dan I wanted this stuff moved out of my pink room so I can get my pink room back organized. Because isn't that what everybody's doing right here on quarantine? We're organizing the out of our house. Um, what do we think about these colors? It's not, it's not so bad. I'm not like hating it or anything. I don't know. I'm just partial to the pinks. Okay. So that's my video for today, guys. Oh, you scared me, Callie Bug. You scared Granny. Look, Dan's got some cover back there. This is where Dan piles up and watches TV every night. So this is Dan's domain right here. But there's good, there's good light, right? You got your booty in my film, in my video, ma'am. Anyway, um, I have some more video ideas, you know, I'm thinking about, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll try to get to them because I'm still having a, a, a time, you okay? You okay? Um, I'm still having a, not, I, I'm not going to say a rough time, I'm still like, you know, stuck in the I don't want us. Hey, Callie girl. Hey, hey cutie. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yeah, anyway, that's it for this week, guys. I will put the DNA video up soon because I'm going to film it right when I get done filming this one. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Talk to me in the comments. I look forward to uh, hearing if y'all have any stories, uh, any funny, you know, getting married, marriage stories, anything like that. I look forward to seeing if y'all have stories to, to share with me. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. I got Dan a pot of pinto beans going because, you know, he just, he can eat this every day of the week and be thrilled. I can't stand them things. But anyway, I got him some pinto beans going. And I just made a video a while ago talking about, come Monday morning, I'm getting back on my diet. But what am I making right now? Y'all, and yes, it's in a big ass skillet because Dan's got my pan with some beans in it. So I had to put this in a skillet. I'm making chocolate oatmeal cookies. Yeah, cocoa, sugar, milk, butter, uh, oatmeal, peanut butter, vanilla. That's onions for Dan's pinto beans. But do I look like I'm trying to go on a diet? <laughs> no. I was going to film uh, the DNA video, and I'm still planning on it if I don't sweat all this makeup off first. Y'all, I, I sweat just being alive. But you let me get over here, because these pinto beans are like rolling and steaming, and you know, I'm getting these this candy chocolate cookie stuff to a rolling bowl too. So I'm standing over the stove, about to bust a sweat. But if I don't, I'm gonna get in there and film this video. If I'd sweat my makeup off, I'll film it tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I want to get it up. Dan's got a big old ham bone in here. He likes for me to buy him a great big ham and then he cuts it and like eats it for breakfast and you'll have it with, you know, supper or whatever. So I save the bones. Yes, I've got the cookie spoon in my hand because I just lick it off as soon as it cools down. Yeah, he's got a big old ham bone in his pinto beans. And here are the cookies. Y'all don't laugh, but I'm out of full and wax paper so I had to just drop it out on pans. But let me tell you what I just did. Do y'all see this hole right here on this pot? That's, you know, to let the steam out so hopefully it won't boil over. Well, I don't, let me see if I can get it. Hold on. You see the hole right here, y'all? That's about titty high. Burnt my titty cooking some pinto beans. Who can say they did that? Burnt my titty cooking pinto beans.
Thank you.